Well, I thought that they did a pretty fair job on the movie. It uh, didn't stray radically far from the truth and was an effective, uh, was basically an effective translation of the book. The movie had a great emotional effect on me. It was very stirring. We were a bunch of teenage boys uh, with no training whatsoever in much of anything, and we kind of had to invent and, and create everything that we did from scratch. Well, these days you can buy your motors, you can buy your fuel premix, you can buy components like body tubes. I mean, that's what those vendors down through there are selling. But none of that was for sale when we were doing our work. We just had to figure it out our way and do it our way. And it was a pretty good way, but it wasn't as safe as this. What we did was far too dangerous. Wouldn't go near that stuff these days. Just observation and trial and error. We were, we were truly scientists in the sense that, that we didn't know how, we had to figure out how. Some of the technology that we deal with is fairly sophisticated. It's not something that if you wanted to participate that you would have to spend thousands. You could spend a few hundred a year and have a pretty good time. Uh, I don't spend huge amounts myself. But I can tell you this much, these, these rockets run anywhere from fifty to $5,000 or more to build. I can, I can push 15,000 foot with this on a full case. G10 fiberglass, precision ground fiberglass tubing. Two and a quarter inches in diameter. Takes a 58 millimeter motor. But I used the slimline fitting so that you could step down to a 38 and even a 29. That's a one piece of molding and it's just glued onto the fiberglass. In high school, the one we used was made out of stainless steel tubing, seamless stainless steel tubing. And everything in it was either was, was either steel or stainless steel. These things have to be set up for the government ahead of time, you understand. You gotta get the FAA approved, approval on your uh, launch site, your waivers to, to go out and fly. Anything, anything over a pound that goes over a thousand or two feet, you've got to have federal federal approval to fly. Well, I think it's very important that they pursue their instinct to fly rockets within the confines of an organized rocket club. And it's very important that young people, children, have supervision in their efforts. 